I've had a few people ask me to show them my little Toyota. So I'm gonna show you my little Toyota. Make a quick little video about it. Ain't nothing fancy. So I traded a squeeze chute for it. That's what I did. And uh, the guy who had it said uh, the oil light was coming on when he'd rev it up, so he thought it had no oil pressure. So I, uh, motor's not exactly the cleanest. It's been sitting down here in a dust bowl for the last couple of years. I use it when I drive my car down here. I did buy some uh, military grade battery cables so I can get rid of that rat's nest. Put in a few uh, relays for all my lights. Weber carb. She needs clean for sure. She don't leak much oil at all really. Just a uh, dirty engine. Has that 22R in it. Um, I think I bought a whole truck for $500 and pulled that engine out. Got me a uh, couple Harbor Freight lights. They work. Built me a, this used to have a, a bed on it. But I pulled the bed off and I built this bed out of, I used to own a scrap yard. So someone brought in a bunch of these military panels they use for roads and whatnot. And that's what I used to build my bed, just to keep it a little bit lighter. And uh, dog box, I actually built at my scrap yard, and it's basically all scrap. Every bit of that. Probably looks like it. I can weld, but I'm not a welder. And then I just got a piece of rubber in there to uh, keep the dog from falling through the holes. Call it my puppy box because I can close them in and them little pups can't really jump out because they will. <clears throat> oh, I do have a uh, personalized plate for it somewhere. I wonder if I have it in my car. Anyway, and it says tree, tree 2 or tree 1. Another Harbor Freight light. It used to have 32s on it, which actually they're sitting over there. But I had them on there, they're like the original BF Goodwrench mud train. So I got these bad boys off a friend of mine who didn't like them on his Chevy. So got them for $400. They've done me pretty good. I'm going to build a headache rack next. Put me a somewhat little toolbox in there that has uh, all my charging and inverter whatever else I can fit in there collars one day I'll find some panels or I'll probably build me some out of aluminum that's my plan diamond plate aluminum I did get this fancy dash mat off of uh, Amazon so I do have a, a radio I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in there there's a little board in there. You can kind of see that little board. That's my radio. That's my Bluetooth. And I literally got it hooked up to... Computer speakers. Again, scrap. You use that uh, Cobra 145 or whatever it is. Or the F45, I use a Cobra F45. <clears throat> That's what me and everybody run. I did build this little light switch. Runs my radio. And that radio is just a Bluetooth board hooked up to my phone. Got music. And I also run my little, just a little Cobra 19. It's kind of bumped up. Harbor Freight gauges. I'm gonna buy me a, a gauge cluster for that. But if you buy these little mag lights and not break them, your uh, Tritronic shocker will fit right in those. 
<clears throat> or your mag light. She ain't pretty, but I did trade her for a squeeze shoot I got for free. She works for me. One of my favorite trucks. I've done a lot of hunting in that. I've been a lot of places in that. And that's my little Toyota. I like her. Been offered a lot of money for her. I don't think I'd ever sell her. Wanted one too long, so. There you have it. There's my little Toyota. Maybe throw some comments. I, see what, tell me what you got. I don't know if you can post pictures. I don't think you can on YouTube. I'm new to it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I figured I was showing off my truck. I'm going to go see if I can't bump into a javelina while it's still open. Maybe you guys will get to see something. It's been kind of a crappy year, man. I'm not going to lie. I usually do way better than this. My bear hunting makes me want to get rid of my dogs. Like, if you look at all the numbers, there's not a whole lot of people out there that are actually killing something so we'll try it again today I guess when I got time I was just talking to another youtuber guy telling him how I had kind of a crappy year he uh, said something to me that uh, kind of made sense because and it was not about always a hunt, it's about the journey. And he's right. I guess there's a lot of people that don't get to uh, go out and do this kind of stuff. Um, my sister don't even have a car. I had to take her to the, to the doctor today. It just amazes me how people make it without it. Here I got literally 40 cars in my yard. One for every occasion, I guess. There's people who can't just get in their truck and go hit a tree farm and maybe shoot a javelina. So that's all they have is people on YouTube who do what they can. Motocross, hunting, fishing, snowboarding. But it also does kind of make people lazy. I sit around and watch Matt's off-road recovery a lot. So, <clears throat> once you get trapped into it on TikTok and YouTube and all that stuff, next thing you know, it's been a few hours. It goes back to what I started in the beginning is you gotta get out. And I had kind of a bad year. You're a houndman and you've had uh, good years every year your whole life. I don't know if you're just lucky or real damn good. I know I get lucky. Not this year. I didn't get lucky this year. But I'll still go out and hunt because I like to get out. Like old Brett said. About, about the journey sometimes. It feels good just to get out. So I hope I don't bore you too much with some of my videos, but as soon as I got a GoPro, I literally quit catching stuff for some reason. I'll try harder. I'll keep going out and you have to keep watching my boring videos. Stay tuned. on this side like 1100 on the other side I think someone else had come in here and hunted those coons or maybe the worst
workers killed a lot of them. I don't know. But I feel like the reservation keeps moving their fence closer and closer. I see a lot of javelina here before and they trapped them out because these farms were whining about the javelina pooping in their fields because it's an organic farm. We'll see if we can't find something. Hell, I'll shoot a Kyle. slamming the door some javelina will come into a rodent call let's see if I can't peek up over this little bank right here call them if I have my calls Yeah. I always got my calls. Hoping to see him run down these rows. Them Havelina don't care about nothing. They'll just come running in. I know you can't see it on the GoPro, but it's a pretty ass moon. Nice and full tonight. I get a moving at least maybe there's my girl right there she's not a mule but she definitely eats less than my mule and she don't give me too much attitude I've, I've called like that before just got up called going up and around the corner here my dad's calling me. Maybe he's on the other side. I'm in sand. So, that was my dad. He passed me up on the road and probably knew what I was doing, so he's down on the corner blowing his call too. <clears throat> so I'm headed south to him. Maybe we'll bump something. Better than sitting at home watching as the world turns as Facebook turns oh goodness I might have to lock my hubs uh, we had a good rain this last weekend and all these washes have ran well they're all sandy 